This module, we're going to discuss HTTPS, SSL encrypted traffic, and how we inspect that with the SMB device. We support both full and light SSL inspection. SSL inspection allows us to inspect traffic that is encrypted by the secure socket layer. Only HTTPS outbound inspection is supported. All the hosts behind the gateway must install the gateway CA certificate. You can see it here at the bottom of the slide. The supported blades are application control and URL filtering, IPS, antivirus, antibot, and threat emulation. HTTPS categorization allows us to filter specified HTTPS URLs and applications without activating SSL inspection. It's simply based on the URL in the website certificate. So it basically means you can block a web application without activating SSL inspection. There is an SK for SSL inspection for additional information on bypass policies. By default, we're set up to bypass certain things. We will see it later in the web UI. We can configure to use bypass based on specific networks and of course the predefined categories such as health, government, financial, and more. If bypass is configured, traffic will be categorized by light SSL. Let's go ahead and see how we can configure SSL inspection. So I'm going to go to Access Policy. And here I'm going to go to SSL Inspection. So this is the default state. I'm going to go ahead and change it to SSL Traffic Inspection. Here I can select which protocols I want to inspect, which categories to bypass. So by default, I have Health, Government, and Financial. And Tracking. So do I want to enable Inspect Logs and Bypass Logs? I'm going to select both and press Apply. As mentioned here, to fully deploy SSL inspection, we need to download the certificate and install it on the hosts behind the gateway. Very easy. All you need to do is to download the certificate. In this case, it's going to ask me. I'm going to do keep. And I have the certificate right here. So now I'm going to go to Internet Options. If I'll go to Content, Certificates, I can go all the way here to Trusted Root Certification Authorities and I can import this new certificate. And now my computer will trust this unknown self-signed certificate. Press yes. And okay, so this is the menu that controls all the certificate that your hosts is trusting. So for example, if you'll open any website that uses SSL, that website uses a certificate that your computer trusts. Why? Because the certificate is mentioned here. So now I've opened a website here, so I can go here, in this case, cnn.com. And if I'll go and check the certificate, I can see that it's valid. So I don't get any warning messages or something. Let's go ahead and see the certificate. So the certificate was issued to this website, but let's see who it was issued by. Just a MAC address. In this case, this certificate is the one I have created through the SMB. So SSL inspection is indeed in order. Now, if I'll go to logs and monitoring, I can open up one of the entries here. Connection was inspected by HTTPS inspection. That concludes the HTTPS SSL inspection module.